Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S with me and I've just flashed the official Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 firmware of, for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S and today we are going to take a look at this firmware. So this one here does run Android Marshmallow and it's as you can see it's a TZ700 model, the Wi-Fi only version of the Tab S 8.4 inch and it does run Android version 6.0.1 Android Marshmallow. So this is Android Marshmallow on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S, just to show, and it also has this um, game where I can't even score one or two. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as you can see in the recent apps panel, there are actually no changes, only the buttons has changed their places. Um, in Lollipop, both of them were at the right corner over here, but now they have changed their places. So this is the only change in the recent uh, place, and I liked the older one more, but hey, this doesn't count that much. Um, so if you look at the first look, so you can see that the icons has been changed. Uh, this is maybe the biggest change. <laughs> Um, so all of the apps are still the same apps, um, there are no changes in any app, only the icons have been changed, they are now round just like the Galaxy Note 5. And at the first look you can also see that the, uh, that the wallpaper has been changed, so this is the standard wallpaper which you get when you set up your device. There are also other wallpapers available from the Galaxy S6, so all other um, wallpapers of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S. Um, are removed now and you get these new Samsung Galaxy S7 style wallpapers which are in my opinion much better than the Tab S wallpapers. So this is a good um, thing here. As I said you get the same apps as before and everything is pr uh, pretty much everything is like the same as before. Um, for example Niva Newer Samsung devices like the Samsung Galaxy S6 or the Note 5, they got a new design change with Android Marshmallow, but unfortunately this new design change isn't available for in the Marshmallow update for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S because um, all devices released before the Samsung Galaxy S6, they don't get any design change. So only devices um, released after the Samsung Galaxy S6 got that new white style Android Marshmallow update so as you can see the um, notification panel is uh, still in that blue color over here um, yeah which isn't that nice because uh, it should be fine it should be good if we get a new design change but hey you don't need that actually um, and this one is also not looking that bad so the notification panel, as you can see, is looking like the same. I'm not quite sure if the the, the um, Lollipop version showed you the Wi-Fi over here, but this one does, so yeah, you still have the um, multi-user support over here, um, and they are still the same quick toggles. So, now let's move on to the uh, settings. There are not that uh, much changes, but um, I also I want to show you them anyway. Um, if I get this flickering done, okay. Um, so there are no new options in the connections tab here. Also, no um, new things in the device um, tab over here. So everything is like the same. Um, you get the fingerprint scanner and all that. Uh, they are, of course, they are broken because it's uh, the um, stock firmware. Um, yeah, you don't get that new uh, things. You can hide the brightness slider over there if you don't like it and all that standard stuff. So let's move on to the uh, general tab over here because there are some things that are different. So. Um, especially here in the language and inputs uh, option over here because you get, don't get all that language. So these are all the languages available in that firmware. Um, um, so if your language isn't uh, supported over here you can't 
use it um, without root um, and you probably need to wait until your tab s t not get the update via otr a and yeah these are all the languages supported currently currently um, yeah and also in the storage options you can see this new kind of um, um, structure in that menu here so usually in Android Marshmallow you need to be able to use your micro SD card as an internal storage but unfortunately on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S and all other Samsung devices you can't use your micro SD card as an internal storage so Samsung has blocked uh, or removed that feature from all Samsung devices with Android Marshmallow so this is something I really hate it because it's a feature which should be available in Android Marshmallow and it's maybe the biggest and coolest feature in Android Marshmallow but it isn't available in your Tab S with Android Marshmallow so this is a thing I really didn't like about the updates so but you can change it unfortunately so um, security all the standard stuff you still have that um, you still have the pin where is it the pin windows things if you enable it here you can just pin your app so you can't go back until you uh, press both of the um, buttons over there um, yeah about the device there's also nothing new uh, else except for the Android version of course which has been changed and the Android security patch level kernel version so um, there's also no new thing um, yeah of course it does get OTA updates if there are there's any anything available and yeah let's move on to the last tab here application tab so you can see that the application tab is reorganized because um, in the past you had some uh, tabs over here now all apps are listed um, at the same place you can also activate um, the system apps and all apps are now listed in one um, list so if you select uh, Dropbox for example you get that full screen info so you get a screen where you only get the information about that app in the past it was only at the at this area here so yeah let's disable Dropbox and yes another thing I want to show you are the animations so there are new animations in Android Marshmallow for example if you open an app for example the settings you see this different kind of animation which looks a bit like the animation in iOS but I'm not quite sure if is it the, the same one and also if you close the app you get this different kind of animation again um, but you open but if you open an app from the launcher here you get that ugly animation like it isn't like in KitKat so you can see I don't know why there's still this old animation uh, in the Android Marshmallow update for this tablet but yeah nobody knows that so Yes, let me show you the box screen, so this lock screen also no change, but if you unlock the device you get also a new different kind of animation, so as you can see the wallpaper uh, zooms out, let me show you it again, so there is it, so yeah this was my review of Android Marshmallow, the official Marshmallow firmware of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S. Um, yeah, like the video if you liked it and enjoy it. Peace.